Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Tom Chamberlain. I'm president of the Oregon AFL-CIO, and I want to thank you all for coming today. The time for immigration time for comprehensive immigration reform is now. In November, voters soundly rejected the anti-immigrant, anti-working family agenda put forth by the very few who profit from the current broken immigration system. They voted to create an economy for all. Let's not forget that our broken immigration system has frequently been structured to exploit labor. The labor movement's approach to immigration is rooted in our values as a nation. We believe in hard work, in the dignity of all work, in the respect for one another. What unites us as Americans is our belief in shared values and in our nation, not where we were born. A common sense immigration process would reflect our best values and our shared commitment to the country we call home. We need comprehensive immigration reform not just for immigrants' rights, but for the rights of all workers who are just trying to make a decent living for their families. The ability to, ex to exploit any workers lowers the standards for all workers. I would, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, a very good friend of ours, um, the executive director of CAUSA, Francisco Lopez. Good morning, this, good afternoon, this beautiful afternoon, beautiful day. Uh, my name is Francisco Lopez and I'm the Executive Director of CAUSA Oregon, Latino Immigrant Rights Organization, uh, largest Latino organization in the Pacific Northwest. Well, today is a very, even though that we're sad for the events in Massachusetts and Boston, but it also is an important day for the immigrant community. After 27 years of waiting for uh, changes in an immigration reform system, today was unveiled the Border Security, Economic Opportunity, and Immigration Modernization Act of 2013. This act that comes with bipartisan support, Democrats and Republicans, is providing a pathway towards legalization and citizenship for 11 million undocumented immigrants currently living in the United States. So we'll be very glad that this is happening. This is moving forward. Last week, many people from our community came to visit Congressman Peter DeFazio, and we told him that we wanted his leadership and his support, the same leadership and support that he showed during 2010 when he voted for the DREAM Act and passed. Well, we want that same leadership and support to show for this comprehensive bill. I think this is a good common sense solution. Hopefully, the uh, congressman said last week that he wanted to see first a uh, law. Well, here it is. We're telling the congressman here it is the place where we can start the conversation about legalization. We're very confident that 150,000 Latino undocumented immigrants here in Oregon will benefit from this legalization program. Again, this is a bill of brought everybody together, Democrats, Republicans, business, labor, faith community, all of us together to have this legalization program. And I want to acknowledge the, pro the leadership that has been provided, not just here in Oregon, but nationally, by one of the largest fe labor federations in the United States, the AFL-CIO. We are very thankful for the leadership and support, making sure that this is going to happen in 2013. Thank you very much. Thank you, Francisco. I'd like now to introduce the mayor of Eugene, Kitty Piercy. I like the sunshine, too. <laughs> um, I'm here as mayor of Eugene in solidarity. For many generations, immigrants have come to the United States seeking better futures for themselves and their families. Their financial and cultural activities have enriched our community. We value immigrants' historic and contemporary contributions as business owners, consumers, taxpayers, and civic leaders. We recognize that Eugene's economic, social, and civic success has 
as 23rd century community hinges on our ability to help immigrants become fully involved in all aspects of community life. Uh, last year, uh, our council passed a resolution, and uh, the things that were in that resolution was a commitment to inclusion and integration of immigrants, recognizing their contributions, supporting their families, promoting respect and non-discrimination, common sense approaches to public safety and community partnerships, and a just and comprehensive immigration reform. So on the part of our council, on the part of our city, I'm here to say that Eugene is a community that prides itself on holding progressive values. That's why we should be here advocating for comprehensive immigration reform. We stood up and spoke in our points of view, and now we stand side uh, arm on arm with the folks that are here today and folks throughout our community in support of real comprehensive immigration reform. Thank you. Next, next I'd like thank you, thank you, Mayor Piercy. Next I'd like to introduce the president of LULAC, Juan Carlos Valle. Thank you, Tom, and the FLCIO for the opportunity to speak and for the inclusion. We will appreciate your strong support in your resolution on comprehensive immigration reform. Established in 1929, the League of United Latin American Citizens, LULAC, is the largest and oldest civil rights and advocacy organization in the country. We advance the economic condition, educational attainment, political influence, housing, health, and civil rights of Latinos in the United States. Our national platform includes, of course, immigration reform, Mr. DeFazio, and elected officials. Our nation urgently needs your help establishing an effective and practical immigration system that will reflect the best of America's values. LULAC's 900 plus councils urge you to support a comprehensive immigration reform package that will allow undocumented workers already in the U.S. to contribute to the U.S. economy, to our society, by providing, providing them with a pathway to citizenship. A package that will reduce the backlog of individuals seeking residency or citizenship. A plan that recognizes immigrants as integral part of the U.S. labor workforce by addressing employment-based immigration needs and reforming the visa system for issuing permanent and temporary visas for high-skilled and low-skilled workers. We need our leaders to encourage strong worker protections before talking about guest worker type provisions. We LULAC, we need to reunite American families by allowing U.S. citizens or permanent residents to sponsor and define marriage. We need to ask that you allow sponsorship of those same-sex partners for immigration to the U.S., a right which is currently denied. This will not define marriage. It will not repeal the Defense Marriage Act law. However, it will benefit both these Americans and the companies that employ them. We need a plan that addresses informant needs. The informant, informant needs is a manner of just and consistent without existing due process and civil rights. We need to work together and engage other elected officials to help with this process. We have waited for far too many years. The time is now for comprehensive immigration reform. You have the opportunity you have the leverage, and it needs to be done. And LULAC will be right there with you, supporting the work on immigration reform. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Next, uh, we have Hugo Nicolas, a uh, member of CAUSA and an uh, Oregon Dreamer. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here, and thank you for supporting a comprehensive immigration reform. 
My name is Hugo Nicolás. I came here when I was 11 years old. I, 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 on my, I, the reason why I started to love this country was because I learned how people sacrifice a lot and how this country was built by the hardworking people. I never really knew what it was to be undocumented. Not once with my experience in law enforcement, the fire department, as a company uh, commander in the Army JROTC, or as a junior city counselor. I never really understood what it was to be an undocumented worker. That's why I graduated high school and I needed to find a job in order to pay for my tuition. So I began working at a C company. I would work for about 120 hours over two weeks. And out of those 120 hours, I will, I will only get paid 20 hours overtime. My job was to carry 50 pound bags of grass seed every day, Monday through Saturday. Often I would arrive home exhausted, and sometimes I couldn't even eat because how tired I was. I would finish days of work with pain, bleeding blisters on my hands, yet the next day I went to work even harder because maybe, just maybe, my employer will be proud of the work I did and give me an extended break time. But that never happened. One day, under the same pressure to get as much difficult manual labor completed in a short amount of time, I was carrying a bag of seed and my back, my back started to hurt. The pain would not go away, would not go away, and it was hard for me to breathe. I told the, I told my boss that if I could, if I could go home, because I couldn't stand the pain, he just laughed at me and told me to, to, and he sent me home. The next day, I returned to work, even though my back still hurt, for fear of being fired. I was even working harder. Then I asked him if I could go see the doctor because my pain was still, my pain was still there. He just looked at me and told me that I no longer work there. And the worst part, he said that workers' compensation would not cover my injury, so I was scared. The next job was at a car wash. While working there, I would often work about six to eight hours on shift, but only get paid two or three hours. Working along the side of my mother made things even more difficult as she tried to provide food for our family. As an undocumented person, every step that we take to be successful, it's hard. That's why we're here asking Congressman Peter DeFacio to support a comprehensive immigration reform. I really thank him for the vote that he did in 2010 on DREAM Act. But now he has to do the right thing and also make sure that my parents and my little sister has that right chance and the opportunity to become a U.S. citizen. This country was built by hardworking people. And because everyone had a dream, and because our parents made a sacrifice to come to this country, let's not forget the sacrifice our parents took by leaving their countries and coming to America and making that place that now is called the United States of America. Thank you. to introduce Claire Serrett, uh, Eugene City Councilor. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me to speak here today. As an immigrant, naturalized American citizen, and longtime union activist, I'm so pleased to be part of this historic event today. To join with supporters of immigrant rights and labor activists standing together to demand protection for immigrant workers' rights. For too long, employers have been able to drive a wedge between workers based on legal status. For too long, employers have been able to exploit undocumented workers and use their fear of being undocumented to deny them wages and benefits, force them to work in unsafe conditions, and shut them down when they seek to speak up for their rights. Immigrants came to this, come to this country to seek a better life for themselves and their families. 
This is the very same reason workers seek to join a union, to create a better life for themselves and their families. By joining the fight for comprehensive immigration reform, the AFL-CIO is demonstrating great leadership and foresight, recognizing that their members have common cause with immigrant workers. That by bringing immigrant workers out of the shadows and supporting their right to humane and decent treatment, our unions will become stronger and more effective as worker advocates. Solidarity is the counterweight to exploitation, and it is needed now more than ever. With the AFL-CIO stepping up to join the fight for comprehensive immigration reform, immigrant right activists have attracted a truly powerful ally, one that can help us make a difference and see that real reform is implemented. And reform has been needed for decades. Our government's treatment of undocumented workers is shameful. Human beings treated as criminals simply for trying to find work, housing, or other basic needs. Driving immigrant workers further into the shadows by taking away their chance to earn a driver's license and making them fear calling 911 when they have an emergency because they or a member of their family may be undocumented. This is a human rights tragedy that must be ended. And we have a chance finally to end it with proposals in Washington that would lead to a true path to citizenship and bring these workers into the mainstream where they can join unions, stand up for themselves, and add their voices to the call for worker dignity. Here in Eugene and Lane County, I've been privileged to be part of a local effort called the Lane County Network for Immigrant Integration that is working to create a more welcoming community for our immigrant neighbors. This group has been organizing around a statement of principles for immigrant integration and asking local governments, organizations, and individuals to sign on to these principles. I started with the network while I was still working for the ACLU of Oregon and was very gratified to be a member of the Eugene City Council when we unanimously endorsed that statement of principles, pledging to make Eugene a safe and welcoming place for immigrant families. I am proud to stand here with Tom Chamberlain, Juan Carlos Valle, Hugo Nicholas, Francisco Lopez, Mayor Piercy, and everyone here to call on Congressman DeFazio to take a strong stand in support of comprehensive immigration reform to stand up for all American workers, including those who right now can only aspire to become full citizens. Standing here together, we represent the best hope for real change, for true solidarity, for a bright future for all American workers. Let's keep standing together until immigration reform is a reality. Thank you. In Oregon, the labor movement over the last 24 months has been deepening our relationship with our brothers and sisters in the immigrants' rights community. To not only ensure that comprehensive immigration reform passes swiftly, but that, but that includes the necessary components to protect all workers and all comprehensive immigration reform, that when it's over, we're there to help those seeking, a, seeking citizenship. Because in reality, when the labor movement looks at the issue, we don't see 11 million undocumented workers. We see 11 million exploited workers that need our support. I would like to go over the eight princi the principles for comprehensive uh, immigration reform passed by the National AFL-CIO. A fair and just uh, a fair process uh, to citizenship that is timely and certain. Effective work authorization mechanisms to determine employment authorization. Rational and humane control of the border. An independent commission to assess labor market shortages that is clear and transparent. Improvement, not expansion, of a temporary worker program. We stand today united calling on our Oregon delegation to move swiftly and thoughtfully on reform. It's the right thing to do for all workers. I want to thank all of our speakers today, and we'll open it up for questions. Thank you very much.